Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Life is Strange 2 with God of Darren, the one up man. In the last episode we began episode 2 of Life is Strange 2 called Rules. We reunited with Daniel and Sean here. Daniel's been getting a better hold of his powers as explained here in this graph. And we've been hiding out in this cabin with the two We're brothers. So lucky this thing is still working. Wouldn't have lasted long without E. We see their day-to-day -day lifestyle, more or less, and what they have to go through. But today they're ready to leave and head towards their grandparents' house, so... Let's, let's help them along here. Mushroom clung to Daniel on the first nights. But now she loves her bed by the fire. As she should, nice and warm. Give me one second here. Alright. Let's go see what's up with Daniel. We've seen, you know, the room. Mushroom wants to go out. Don't you hear? Yeah, sorry. Move. So, what's going on? It doesn't fit in. There's too much stuff. It's fucking bullshit. No more swearing. Okay, no more swearing. Sure. Like, you're always polite. Come on. Chill out. What did you pack in? Someone woke up the on the wrong side of bed this morning. Dude, you can't fit the whole room in. Don't worry. Your super strong big brother can help. And I didn't want to let the dog out before because I don't trust awesome. the dog being out by itself. But if Daniel Thanks, wants to make that well, call, then go right ahead. Looks like we're almost set. Where's Mushroom? <laughs> Where you let her go. Still peeing, I guess? I'm gonna check what she's up to. <sighs> okay, I'll fill up our bottles and I'll catch up with you guys. Don't be surprised if the dog's gone. Fill up the canteens for the road. All righty. Put them in the bag. Get this show on the okay. road. All done. I've seen enough of this place. He? He's with the dog. They both disappeared now. Let's go look. Daniel. Probably playing Daniel! a prank on us again. Hey, you out here? Probably trying to hide with some mushroom. Daniel. Well, you can see their tracks easily enough here. Where is he? I mean, I'm assuming this is his trail. So, let's follow it. Thank God for snow. Oh, but then it goes this way. Or does it? I don't know. I'm just gonna follow this when they both to see... Uh, Seem to be going the same we had direction. We a two-day walk ahead of us. Better get going. Yeah, well, we can't until we find these two. Daniel is nowhere to be seen. Calling, call him by holding out one and X. Daniel, where are you? Where you at, you little troublemaker? Show yourself. The trail leads up here. Whoa, no, 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 no. I don't like that. What the fuck happened here? Uh, that's bad. That's very fucking bad. But it doesn't seem to be continuing. The bandana. That's not good. Oh, shit. I told you not to let the dog out, man. 
You insisted. Their blood on it. It's that, it's the dog's blood, it gotta be. Daniel? Oh my god. <sighs> oh, shit. No. Daniel, do not move. It killed her! You let it do it! Calm down. You okay? open the door. Listen. Leave me alone! No! Are you gonna kill a fucking sa <laughs> a fucking cougar right now, bro? Uh, step forward. Don't let him do it. He can't get used to killing for for the sake of killing. Go away. Go. No. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. Fuck, man. It just wouldn't have changed anything to kill it. Damn. This is why I didn't want dog in the in I'm the right first here. place. It's all right. Poor baby. Damn, man. I've seen three human beings die in this game so far, uh, and that dog dying just now hurts me more, uh, the most. That hurts me the most. Damn, man. Here. You should do it. That's it. It's pointless. It's better Any than barrier. nothing. What else well. can we do? Unless you want to say something. Uh, goodbye, Mushroom. You were such a good puppy. I'll always remember. Running through the snow with you. And how you... You snuggled. And... I'll never forget you. Never. What a way to begin this fucking episode. Good girl. Oh, Rest man. In peace. Some bullshit. It won't be for God. Sean. You think she's up in heaven? With Dad? That's exactly where she is, kid. Yeah. I'm sure he will look after her. Wait, what about his allergies? <sighs> Don't worry, Inanna. There's no allergies up there. Yeah. He'll be fine together. Amen. Amen, brother. <sighs> okay. We should go. It's getting late. Okay. Keep out wolves inside. Well, there won't be for long. It's time for us to go. One less of us. Wish we didn't have to go. I'd like having a house again. Come on. Let's hit the road. 
What about my traps? Sure. Should we leave them up? They'll protect the next runaways to stay here. I'll dig your traps. I don't know if they did any good, but it doesn't look like they did. Of the house mushroom. So long, my dudes. Huh. <laughs> Brody. I'm digging the music. Not digging the situation, though. Gotta be honest. I did not expect that in the beginning. So now we're back on the way, on our merry way. Watch your step, kid. This music is awesome. Very dangerous situation. The dough, Max. to uh, get these songs on Spotify, man. Some of them are just too good. Definitely a long trek. Looks like they've gotten used to the life of travel. Beat is nasty. Now you got enough freaking energy to do that with his bag on his back. <laughs> That's crazy. The game is beautiful also, I don't think I've uh, commented on that enough. The game itself is very nice looking. Love the art style. As I did from the first game as well, and I've, I've noted that. is picking up the snow <coughs> Daniel's cough hasn't gotten any better we made it Daniel Reynolds Reynolds it's been a long time since I was here that's his when was that? that's their grandparents born.
Reynolds is the woman in Captain Spirit that came knocking on his door. Come here. Okay, so we're next door now. Claire likes everything super clean. Dad next said she got pissed because he let me bring a snowball in the house. Hmm. We're next we don't to... don't want to look like total pigs. We're next to Chris's house now. Let's ring the doorbell. Very nice reef. Very festive. Uh, what if they went on vacation? Or, or something? We'll figure out something. I'm sorry, we don't want any of... Hello, Claire. Abuela! Sean? Oh my... Is that... Daniel? It's me, mijo! What's going on out here? And Nino! Look who's here! After all this time. What the hell are you doing here? Steven, watch your mouth. Well, it's kind of a long story. <coughs> Too long. <coughs> Please tell no, me you have Robitussin. Thing. You know he's sick, right? <sighs> yeah, but... Okay, inside. Both of you. Shelter. Yes. Shelter and family. A cup of Joe. Damn, that jacket's seen better days. So this is what a normal house looks like again, huh? Hey, is it uh, warm enough for you? Oh yeah. Feels nice and toasty. I gave Daniel some cough medicine, but you should have taken better care of him. He <laughs> could have been worse. You'll know what you we've been through, lucky. lady. Stephen, may I talk to you for a second? So hungry, my belly hurts. We'll eat soon enough, Sean. Don't worry. I remember that. Yeah. I think it used to be in the living room. It's good to be inside. Finally. I just hope they let. Feel so awkward to be here. We had no choice. Yes, you do. Fuck. Did I make a mistake coming here? Psh, what more could you have done? Oh, they know. What if Sean is guilty? Sleeping in our home. Thanks to us. Let's, let's just ask him what happened. Yeah, at least talk to him. We'll figure something out. Okay? All right, Stephen. Your grandkids, give them a chance to explain. Then use your best judgment. Are you all right, honey? You want more tea? Thanks. I'm good. Uh, well, Sean, do uh, you want to talk about... Uh, uh... The police called us a few weeks ago. They're looking for you as suspects. In a homicide? Sounds and for about right. Assault and robbery in a gas station? Now, if you want us to help you, did you hurt that police officer in Seattle? No. Uh, seriously? Seriously? You really think I killed that cop? No, don't, don't get mad, Sean. We have to ask. We only know what we saw in the news. All I know is that he shot dead. 
And now he's gone. Oh, sweetie. We are so sorry for what happened to your father, but why did you run away if you're innocent? I freaked out to protect Daniel. I didn't want Daniel to see Dad. Like that. I felt like I had to protect him. I understand, but... You know the police would separate us. Maybe forever. Daniel would end up in foster care. You can't be sure, Sean. Anyway, at least you've managed to come here alive. We're glad you two are okay. I hate to think what could have happened to both of you. You need to think of long-term solutions now. I tried. I swear. But I can't do everything. So... What are your plans? Tuh. Down to Mexico? Let's tell them. Go down to Mexico? To Puerto Lobos? Dad has a family house there. Sean... You can't run away from the law like... like Fugitives. That's what we've been doing. How can you look out for your brother if you're both running from the police? You two are gonna stay with us. Oh, Stephen. Maybe we should... After your mother left, your dad never really wanted us in your life. Why? I can't blame him. Why? But you're still part of our family, and we want to prove it. Okay. Not scared? Whoa, really? Uh, uh, aren't you scared? The police already called you. Lordy, yes. But we we're also scared for you. That's why you'll have to be careful around here. Beaver Creek is small and nosy. We can stay? To what Circus? the fuck? Awesome. What shirt is that? Oh, Sean, guess what? There's a huge model train upstairs. Hey, you're supposed to be resting, young man. <laughs> yeah, yes he is. But he seems better already. Anyway, you and Daniel will stay here. At least until Daniel's better. We'll see what happens next. So, I bet you're hungry. Let me fix you something. Some refuge. It's good. It's what we needed in life. So they're mixed. They're not just Mexican, it seems. If their mom, I mean, by their grandmother's uh, grandparents. Caucasian. How do you feel? Superwolf. Way better. It's nice and warm in here. And the food? Yum. Yeah. I'm Feels sure good. anything beats that canned ravioli. Feeling better? You look cozy. Yeah. I love that bed. Mm. Thanks, Grandma. Good. Your temperature is down. I'm way better now. You still need to take it easy. How about if we say a little prayer and, and give thanks? It's like a bedtime story, right? Well, this is a bit like this, yes. Except the story comes from up there. <laughs> the ceiling. So are we ready to pray? <laughs> Just follow my lead. Let's do it. Sure. Why wouldn't we he need pray? All the help we can get. God's had your back this whole time, bro. Bus, Dad? And Sean. Um, and Mushroom. Mushroom. And you and Grandpa. And, uh, everybody else. Oh, my. You are so sweet.
thank you, Lord, for bringing Sean and Daniel safe and sound into our house. Take care of Esteban and uh, Mushroom. <laughs> Please give us the strength to get over the hardships of the past and the trials yet to come. Amen. 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 Okay. It's bedtime. Try to get some rest. You still need it. And no roughhousing in here. No worries. We're too tired. Good night. Oh, and thanks again. Good night, Grandma. Grandparents seem, uh, awesome. The Reynolds are in bed. Not Feels bad, Pete. so nice to have a bed again. I can only imagine. And the bathroom. I hear that. Plus, you don't smell anymore. Whatever. Well, Claire seems pretty caring. Yeah. And nice. I guess Steven is too. I hope we'll be fine here. Seems I think like so. Seems like it. And the more important thing is you'll have time to get better. Sean? Are we in Mom's old room? Nah, I don't think this is the one. Not from what I remember. But it's been a while. Could we check it out tomorrow? Maybe find some of her stuff? Uh, let's ask why. Why would you want to do that? I just don't know anything about her. Daniel, I understand. But we need to focus on where we are now and where we're off to. Mom left us. She made her choice. We gotta make ours. I want to know what's the deal we with can't that. keep going back. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's gonna look anyway. Uh, I, I guess. I have a good feeling he hey is. Man. You've been doing so great with your... Well... You know. I was wondering... How do you do it? Uh, I don't know. I concentrate and it just happens. Does it hurt? Wait, does it hurt? Nah, it's kind of itchy though. And exhausting. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, remember the rules, right? We really don't want Claire or Stephen to start asking questions. I know, I know. Don't show, don't talk. Just keep that in mind and everything should be fine. For how long can you do that though, depending on how long we stay here? Little cub. That's gonna be easier said than done. Things are getting a lot better. We'll see how long that lasts. Morning time. What's the tide going to bring in today? Beaver Creek, Oregon. One week later. Wow. A week. So they're pretty established by now. Settled in. Daniel has left the room. Fire department shirt. Eighteen ninety seven, huh? One of his grandparents' old shirts. Oh, man, I could sleep all day long in this bed. But I'm... this is pretty good so far. 
I love that Steven only has crime and train books. Uh, hey, it's something. That's cool. Claire dug this up for us. That's such a baller in his suit. Yeah. Man, I miss that dirty little dog. It's messed up what so happened much to more Mushroom. Than I thought I would. Of course, it's horrible what happened. I don't even know how Beaver Creek looks like. We're not allowed to get out. It's understandable. Gotta lay low. Can't believe we actually spent a month out there by ourselves and survived. Yeah, it's no small feat. What's all this? Croco disc, space scuba, demon blonde, canteen, and old tarp. Keep us dry if it starts raining or snowing while we're on the road. Got some more pictures here. Daniel's getting worse. No fever yet, but no food left. Leaving tomorrow for Beaver Creek. Sorry, pup. Yeah. Burning cold. Had to carry Daniel for over two miles. No one's stopping to help us. What's wrong with these guys? Dan's getting better. He's eating like a horse. Guess that's good. Been hanging out with CNS a lot. Pretty awkward after all these years. Uh, Claire and Steven. Guess. They're walking on eggshells not to talk about Seattle or Karen. There's a huge elephant following us everywhere. Rude. <laughs> elephant in the room. Reynolds rules. Don't leave the house. No phone or internet. Homework for Daniel. Laugh my ass off. Good luck with that, Claire. Bored as fuck. Grateful for being here, but need to get out. Gotta think of what's next. Ain't no chill for the wicked. Pretty badass. I ain't check everything. Hold up. Can't believe we actually spent a month out there by... What's this? On the map. And then we have some things. Old book found in one of the bedrooms. I finally have time to read it. Probably the best thing we found in the old house. Blankets. Survived. Simply blankets. Pretty badass. Had to bring those along. Never know when you might need to play the ship. Thanks, Claire, but I will never wear these things. So dorky. Daniel might appreciate it, though. Daniel was training his precision with ease. Fucking awesome. Daniel's bag is my bag, okay. Space toy. Yep. Daniel knows how to milk grandma for toys. Uh, <laughs> Good. Can't knock the kid. He deserves to be. Get dressed before you go, dude. Really? Claire thinks breakfast is like... A job. <laughs> Daniel looks like a total thug in his new pajamas. You want me to get dressed? Where's my clothes? Ah, here we go. Oh yeah, he's in his shorts. His frog shorts. Frog and... Boxers. All right, I'm allowed to go out now. All righty, let's go get that grub. Hear laughter, that's good. Sean, finally. Wow. Sean, are you awake? Yes, Breakfast I am. Almost done, so come down when you're ready, okay? Okay. Jolly good. Look at that. That's cool. Choo choo. So careful, Chief. Going too fast. We have to. We're late on schedule. Yeah, but we're gonna scare the passengers away. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I'm glad they get along so good. Steven's having the time of his Tales life. definitely the ideal grandson. <sighs> What's up? Ah, look who's here. But uh, you're too late for the 915 Express. <laughs> um... <laughs> It's okay. I'll take the next one. It will leave after breakfast. Don't be late this time. <laughs> I won't. All right. Got it downstairs. Very nice home. That I'll say. 
bedroom. Whose bedroom is this? Better not sneak in. They won't like it. At their mom's room. Same situation. It's been locked ever since we got here. That must be the mom's room. I kind of don't give a fuck. This used to be Karen's room. Come on. Yeah. Hmm. Wonder what they've done with it. Knew it. Let's wash our face. Oh man. How did we survive for weeks out there with no hot water? When there's a will, there's a way. I used to hate brushing my teeth. <laughs> Just like Daniel. Now I can't get enough toothpaste. Of course. Saw some teeth in there a few nights ago. I wonder if it's Claire's or Steven's. The dentures. Wow. They sure did stock us up on clothes for the winter. You should be very happy about it. Hope I'll never have to hold on to a bar to take a shit. <laughs> Grab bar. Gotta force it out sometimes, man. They have so many pills and stuff to take. Yeah, old Sucks people. To be old. old people usually do. It's crazy how everything is neat and tidy here. Quite wow. the change from our last home. And watch out for any <sighs> Fuck. I broke this thing like ten years ago. And I they can't believe they fixed it. They have fixed and it. kept it. Let's hope you don't break it again. This kitchen's over there. That means I'm going this way. Steven doesn't like us in here when he's away. They don't like us anywhere. The bear. Fish tank. No fish? Better hit the kitchen quick. Man, Claire's I'm, waiting for us. I'm on. I'm in no rush right now. I want to uh, explore. Little bottle with little ship inside, of course. Oh what? my! Look who's awake. Good morning, sleepyhead. It's that bed. Feels like a cloud. <laughs> Daniel, mm. breakfast time. What your you brother got? is ready. Uh, I see waffles. Grandma's showing me a pop star. Steven, your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the boxcar later. <laughs> I love how they're getting along. Need help? Do you need help or anything? Oh, don't worry. I can do this in the dark. <laughs> Thanks for the offer. All right, all right. Are you boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers. But the engine broke down. Yep, has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Gotcha, Chief. Choo-choo! <laughs> Merry Christmas. Uh -oh. oh, sugar. <laughs> he can fix his trains, but not my kitchen. Uh, what you got there? Bigfoot omelet. Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great. As usual. You're the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. Any life is cozy compared to what it was. Yeah. It's nice to be far away from everything. Feels like we're the only ones out here. Well, that's exactly why we love it. It feels safe. Unlike the big city. I hear you, sister. I get it. I like it. It's cool here. Well, bless your soul. You'd get along good with our neighbors. We try to lend a hand. Like to Charles next door. He lost his wife, and things have been hard on him and his son. She did he pass would away. He just get lost in Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? 
I, I think he's your age. Yeah. Ooh. Cool. He's a good kid, Chris. Don't do it. Stop it, you crazy? Hey, what's going on back there? Nothing. Oh, and I thought Stephen was a fast eater. Uh. Hey, Grandma, I wanted to ask you something about that locked room upstairs. Uh oh. <sighs> I told you, there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning, then? Because there's a lot of old junk in there. And besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? But we'll be fine. Why don't you go explore outside? You yeah. sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Promise. But be careful nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? Sounds like a plan, Stan. Or Graham. Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Uh... Why lock it then? Why lock it then? It feels like you're hiding something. There's no secret. We just want to move on with our lives, Sean. So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. Well. Mom contacted Did you? Did Mom ever contact you? She only talked to Dad a few times. Then she was gone. <sighs> yes, she was. You know, Sean? I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's over. Anyway, you have to respect my rules under my roof, okay? Yep. Of course. Always. I appreciate that, Sean. Now you better go find your brother. There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Danny will freak. Thank you. All right, well, she's very destroyed over her daughter. Well, now we can look around. Easel? It's cool that Claire does her little paintings. I wonder where this was taken. I don't picture Claire and Steven as world travelers. Where was that picture of you guys on the beach from? We went to Hawaii when Steven retired, believe it or not. Went anywhere else? That's so cool. Did you guys ever go anywhere else? That's as far outside of the country as we want to go. Uh -huh. There's plenty to see around here. I think I've seen more than enough. I get it, but... Don't let what happened turn you away from this country. It's still your home, Sean. Yeah, well... I just need some time. The Aquarius? Yes. I know. I haven't seen any actual fish in there since we got here. Yeah, I pointed that out a little earlier myself. Sorry for getting upset, Sean. I, I just don't feel comfortable talking about all this. It's... It's fine, really. We don't have to. You're not the only one Karen hurt. Yeah. I'll speak to her. Hey. Claire? What's on your mind, Sean? What did you think of Dad? Dad's you know, married for how long? Leave. What did you think of Dad? You can tell me. I won't get mad. Well, your father was... Uh, he was his own person. That's it? I mean, it's not I know you guys by. didn't really get along. It's just... 
Esteban was very different from us. And he never took a single step to change any of that. I see anything wrong with him. Sounds like that. He wasn't one to smooth things over. Trust me. I know the type. But he did raise you boys on his own. Dad, he did. argue with that. Yeah. He worked his ass off for us. Wish I realized that soon. <laughs> Look at this dude. <laughs> Don't worry, Sean. He saw his eyes. Uh. Let's ask about his funeral. Do you know anything about. Dad's funeral? There was a service. We couldn't make it in time. But we sent flowers. I'm sorry, Sean. It's okay. I just want to make sure somebody took care of him. Hopefully, you can go visit him at some point. God will at some point. God will. Yeah. How long have you and Stephen been married? Oh my. Forever. <laughs> but a good forever. Almost 40 years. Whoa. <laughs> Man. That's more than twice my age. You both were married during Y2K. <laughs> Thanks for making me feel even older. I assume you must have a girlfriend or <laughs> uh almost I almost started dating this one person but what? I guess that all changed not anymore I understand I'm sorry honey it's not fair that you have to deal with all this things will change I hope What's the story with your neighbor? Charles? Oh, poor man used to be a basketball coach. But had to move out here after his wife's passing. He's got a job at the rail yard now and, well, he's still recovering. Wow. I mean, that's sad. We tried to give him a hand. Keep an eye on his drinking problem. Well, she already knew. His son knew. Chris is a little angel, though. I think he could be a good influence on Daniel. This boy has spent too much time on the road. Yeah. And I'm not always the best role model. You tried your best, man. We tried our best. Well, thanks, Claire. You are very welcome. It's always a pleasure to speak with my grandsons. The aquarium. Have you ever seen any actual fish in there? Yeah, there's a fish. Look, it's under there. I see it. I haven't seen any actual fish in there since we got here. It's there. It's under. It just hides a lot. I tried one of Claire's books yesterday. It's basically a telenovela with white old women. Uh... The Golden Girls. Hey, That's more of a comedy. I want to be in your drawing. Oh, don't draw me like this, Sean. I'm a mess. <laughs> don't worry. I'm drawing the whole room. Good. I've looked enough. It's so time to draw nice now. To see you practice. You're so passionate. I'm not moving. Hope I look good. More? What? What am I looking for here? Get the old lady. I'm not moving. Cool. Hope I, look good. I think I'm ready to draw this. Weave kindness into your daily narrative. I'm not moving. Hope I look nope. good. Nope. I can't do anything without looking up first. Daniel in there, and now for the coup de gras. I'm not moving. Hope I look good. Hmm. Pretty good. I heard you three times already, I kid. I can add more details if I want. As we will. I'm not moving. Hope I look good. I'm 
not moving. Hope I look good. Drawing starts by observing, like your teacher used to say. Alrighty. I'm not moving. There we go. He's not moving. Did you know? I didn't know. Alright. I'm glad I picked these up. Hey, Gives me something to work on when they're all watching TV. Such a big fireplace. And not even needed. <sighs> That's luxury. But appreciated though. Feeling of love. Yes. Passion princess? <laughs> Escape to pleasure? Man. Does Claire read all these? La Corazon. Mushroom? Of course she is. I heard Claire rehearse some songs. <laughs> She's got the groove. She's in our thoughts as well. That's nice. Ship in the bottle. Oh, this looks cool. Too bad it's broken. Is it? Ask Claire. What happened to the ship? Oh, that thing? Stephen made it years ago. But it fell and he doesn't know how to fix it. That's sad. I bet Daniel can fix it. It's pretty cool anyway. Up. Yeah. Well, it's life. Yeah, it still looks nice. <gasps> Excuse me. Let's continue to looking around. Discuss the Christmas decoration. Whoa. Look at all these decorations. That's so cool. All right. Cereal box. The same Wait, cereal start? from Life is Strange 1. I pointed clean it out in the mart earlier. Clean conscience. The bear store. Yeah, let's help out the grandparents. I bet it'll be appreciated in the long run of things. Mm. Claire could totally be on one of those cooking shows. Coconut flan. She would be brutal. Claire paints all these. Oh, yeah? Not my style, but pretty impressive. Oh, you gotta respect it, man. <sighs> yeah. Pretty different from the one we had back at home. Hug <laughs> grandparents, huh? Everything else, Claire, damn. Well, we'll sprinkle some help in there every now and then, Claire, when we can. What is this, to the basement? We allowed in there, at least? Oh, it's a cupboard. Hmm. A pantry. Candyland. This is fun every once in a while, but it gets old every other night. I'm sure that dice game got old too. See you tonight, buddy. Same place, same time. All right, you know what? I'm gonna continue looking at this house, and then we're gonna go outside and get some fresh air in the next episode. When God damn the one up man plays Life is Strange too. Be there. And I'll see ya. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Take care.